Hello there, it's Hillary, and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today, I'm going to be doing a full summer journal flip through. You might be confused because summer hasn't started. <laughs> Or is just about to, but I actually have this summer journal from 2021. So I'm going to share a flip through of it so you can see some ideas of some different spreads and how I like to use this. And so I had someone recently say, when are you going to release your summer journals? And actually they've been released since 2021. This is the very first set of seasonal journals that I made. And since this, I have summer, fall, Christmas, and spring. And the only one left I have to do is winter. So anyways, you can pick up these summer journals on Amazon and I will have them linked in the description box below. So they come in a B6 size, a traveler's notebook size, and then this is sort of a, a five size and a eight and a half by five and a half. So lots of different sizes for you to use for documenting your summer adventures. So I will have these linked below on Amazon. Those are Amazon affiliate links, which means I get a small commission if you use that link to shop. And then I also have a YouTube video about these that I'll link down below too. And then I did in 2021 film a setup video of the one I'm going to flip through. So I'll link that video down below as well. So lots of awesome summer journaling content. And then I do actually have a coordinating printable that goes along with these that has all the different summer journal prompts. So if you want to pick up that printable, you could use those prompts in your own journal if you want. So I love documenting the season and I think having a journal like this is a really great way and a simple way to kind of scrapbook and again just document what season you're in and I truly believe there are so many beautiful things and moments in every season. So let's flip through my full summer journal from 2021. So summer 2021 was a very interesting season for me and my husband. He had just just gotten his green card and was just able to start working in the United States um, through his immigration journey and he just got his U.S. driver's license at the very beginning of summer 2021. So he was working like 60 to 65 hours, sometimes even 70 hours a week and I was working full-time at the church at the time working probably 60 to 65 hours as well. So in this season, we were so exhausted, but there were also some really beautiful moments as well. It was this huge season of change for us in our marriage where, you know, I went from having my husband home all day and helping out, you know, doing all the cooking, cleaning, and laundry <laughs> versus then, you know, he was gone all the time and I was gone a lot of the time. So it just made it a really challenging season, but I'm excited to have it documented. So confession, I did just like today print these pictures. And, um, so a lot of the pictures I went through yesterday and, um, gathered them. So I did just finish this journal now in 2024. So if you have an old journal or a project that you haven't completed yet, never hesitate to pull it back out and finish it. And you're going to be so happy that you did. And I love looking back now on these memories and moments. I was showing my husband today and we were just reflecting on how hard this year was and this summer was, but also how God taught us so many things through it. So Let's stop the chit chatting and dive right in. So there's a spot at the beginning for the year. So I did that. And a spot for your name. And then I have a lot of my Creative Faith printables that I used in here. And so if I mention any of them, I'll have them linked in my Etsy shop in the description box below. So this is my Summer Mugs Traveler's Notebook pages which is a really awesome one for the summer season, obviously. And then I love creating a little goals board, mood board for each season. So this was for summer 2021. 
and neat to just kind of look back on this. And I've already started pulling some pictures and things for my summer 2024 um, vision and goals board. So stay tuned for that video um, where I'll set up my summer journal that I'll use for 2024. So I just love looking at this and reflecting and, and thinking about how the summer, how I wanted the summer to, to look. And then I didn't end up filling out this future plans, but I sure decorated it very cutely. <laughs> so I used my summer mugs printable and my rectangle months printable. And I had some summer habit trackers. Again, I didn't totally finish this page, but I love how I decorated it and set these up. And I used those rectangle months again. And I also just have kind of released, like I don't need to have every single page or prompt filled out for the project to be done. So I want to release that for you as well too. <laughs> so I had some ideas for some other summer journal spread ideas. And then one line a day, I did not get through this. Um, but I started strong in June. Again, using those rectangle months. And this washi tape is so fun. It makes me excited for some pretty summer washi tapes and, and spreads. So then a daily routine for a morning routine and an evening routine. Again, using that summer mugs printable. And just so crazy that I would wake up at 4.45. I guess now I wake up at 5.15, so <laughs> only a half hour later. But those are my daily routines. And then I had a vacation packing list page. And this is also supposed to say vacation packing list, but I actually ended up covering it up on the title. And I put some beach vacation pictures instead. Then places I want to go this summer and places traveled. So I had some more beach pictures and went to the aquarium. It seems so funny to look back. You had to have a mask on in order to be in the enclosed aquarium back in 2021. So funny to look back on just the different seasons. And then summer expense tracker. And there's four of those, one for each month of summer. And then we have gratitude list. And this is my butterflies printable. I created this printable during the summer because we were going through such a season of change with Juan and I, like I mentioned. So I just love the symbolism of the butterfly and using it in here is just wonderful and neat to have these little pictures that I added to for documenting gratitude. And then a list of different books to read, and I used some stickers from the bookish sticker book from Happy Planner. Didn't get to do a ton of reading <laughs> that summer, but that's all right. And then I also had these summer bucket lists. This is another Happy Planner spread as well, sticker book. And favorite summer traditions. So we had 4th of July and Father's Day with my family. And then our big summer tradition is going to the county fair. And in tw summer of 2020 was Juan's first summer here in the U.S., but they didn't have the fair that year. So this was his first fair day and it was so fun to use the photo booths and walk around and eat the junk food. And we made uh, candles in the little Pioneer Village. So really sweet summer memories. And then I have a little summer self-care bingo board and some pictures documenting. It's funny to look now back on our little tiny 
patio and our apartment and now just the our backyard and our house and just again sweet to look back on these memories um we only well we only have one car again but now one has a work truck so it's okay but uh I would walk home from church because <laughs> he would have the car and didn't get to any summer doodles and didn't use too much of the wish list page but again used some cute sticker books and cute creative faith printables summer playlist over here i love how the spread turned out bible verses for summer so this is from that summer or the butterflies printable and then, I don't know if you've been around, comment below if you remember the Desert Days Scripture Writing Collection and Journal. That was such a fun one. I should pull that out to work through this summer too. But these are two verse cards from that Desert Days Collection. Then we have the prayer list for the season. I use these cute um sunglasses these are printable and then I had these cute summer girls I don't know if you remember when I used to draw these cute little girls but some some people were kind of mean about <laughs> about the cute little girls I drew so I stopped creating them but uh, this spread is just adorable and this was a picture of my husband's very first day of work so love how the prayer list page turned out and I printed a few pictures of summer recipes that I did in 2021 and some different movies that I wanted to watch for the summer season. I love how this page turned out with the summer adventures. So from some different church events, it was, it got up to 115 that summer and we were just melting in our apartment. We would hide in the bedroom with our window air conditioner unit and in our kitchen, it was 90 degrees. <laughs> so really funny to look back on that Bible study lunch. We'd go on little dates and uh, my aunt and uncle, their dog had puppies. So that was really fun. And lots of Juan would come home and just sit by the door when he walked in at the end of the day. And then a fun little craft day with my aunt. What God is teaching me during the season. I kept finding feathers which was just such a beautiful symbol of God's protection and provision so I wanted to put this picture of this feather I found at church and I wrote out Psalm 91 4 so that was really cool and then I took this poor picture of me at the end of a long work day and I was just like man this is a hard <laughs> hard hard season and then this is Juan at work also equally equally exhausted but god helped us get through and then i did a few summer favorites and didn't end up us utilizing the brain dump page but that's all right and then some favorite summer memories so i love this page in the journal it has these little picture frames that i drew and i love cutting out pictures and adding them into the frame. So what I love to do is I print all my pictures on white sticker paper. So it makes it really easy to adhere them down to the page. So that is my some of my favorite summer memories from 2021. So that is a look at the summer, my full 2021 summer journal. And I would highly encourage you to pick up a Creative Faith Summer Guided Journal on Amazon. Again, they come in various sizes. There's a traveler's notebook size. This is probably what I'm going to use this year. And then a bigger A5 size that has a lot more space for journaling if you want to use a larger size. So definitely check out the links to the summer journals in the description box below. Don't forget to check out some of the summer printables I mentioned as well in this video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. And I will see you next time. Bye, friend.